Hey everyone, welcome back to Chosko. Today I'm going to tell you about a very interesting fact on the 3 3 invasion in a specific shape that played in the real game many times. Also, while watching this video, I'm going to give you some life and death problems that occur in the real game many times, so please pause the video and try to figure out when I tell you to do so. This game was from the 2019 20. Korean Badung League Final Round 2 Game 1 played between Cho Hanseng 9P and Park Hamin 7P White is Park Hamin 7P and Black is Cho Hanseng 9P Now the situation is a half point game which means very close Even in AI analyzation it's almost 50-50 game for both sides the specific shape we are going to take a look at is the bottom right corner. White's bottom right corner looks complete and clean because white has the A stone protecting the corner. That is exactly what I thought before and probably many other players too. But in fact, the corner is still open for invasion and I was shocked when I saw it. And even Park Young 9P, who was the Baduk TV commentator for this game, was also surprised and said that he didn't know that either when he saw this move. Then let's check what really happens in the corner. Of course, Black's first move is the 3 3 invasion. In response to that, White extends down. Alright, before showing the real game, let me tell you what I knew about this version first. I knew that black is dead in the corner like this. Now white is are connected by the A stone, so black is dead. Back to the beginning, now let's see what happens in the real game. The way for black to make something happen in the corner is the push. And now corner is actually destroyed. White blocks next and this attachment is the proper follow. In the real game, Park Hamin 7P was in Byoyomi and he didn't have enough time to think and also didn't know that the corner is open for invasion either so he couldn't respond correctly. White harness, black blocks, white makes the tiger's mouth to connect. Here, do you see the way for black to leave? That is this extension. If white jumps in, black cannot make twice inside, but black can connect with the outside group by the block. If white blocks here to disconnect, black squeezes here, and white is dead, like this. So in the real game, white lost the corner and black won the game in the end by the big profits from the successful result in the corner back here. Now the question is what's the best play for white in this situation? That is this squeeze. In general, black's best play is the tiger's mouth to make a call, like this. So this squeeze is the best play for white and in this particular situation, black could also connect here and Extend down, then connect underneath like this. Either way, Black's invasion is very successful. And back here, what happens if White extends here? If Black plays a normal move like this, diagonal move, Black is killed by this monkey jump like this. So here, why don't you pause for a minute and try to figure out Black's next move to make something good happen in the corner. Actually, there are a few ways for Black to leave or make a call in the corner. Try to guess any kind of way before checking the ways. Alright, did you get one? The first way Black can do is this attachment, like the previous variation. This move works because black can connect underneath, like this, again. Then back here, 
What if black cannot connect underneath because there is no black stone on the second line, like this A stone? In that case, black should play differently. And in this situation, this is the killing move for black, and white gets in big trouble by that move. Now the A and B are me I. If white blocks here, black moves the death stone and white is dead like this. So white must take the one stone and black connects underneath. White makes the monk jump and black blocks like this and make the sente. Here comes another life and death problem. This problem is very practical and essential, so you need to try by yourself and learn. It's black to make a call. Alright, did you make a guess? The answer is this extension. White jumps in to remove the eye shape, and Blink makes the tiger smokes. White harness, Atari, and black takes the call. Here, even if black attacks from the behind, it's still cool. And if black attacks from behind again, black is dead now. Like this. Which means black must not attack from behind here. Back here. Does this move work for black? The answer is no, right? Because white harness goes in and black is dead, like this. Alright, back here. What if the A and B exchange was made earlier in the game? Now the triangle point of Tetsuji no longer works for black. In this position, black needs to make something happen only inside without outside help. Here. Pause for a minute and try to guess Black's best move in the corner. Alright, did you get an idea? Let's check the wrong answer first. This diagonal move might be the first instinct, but it doesn't work for Black like this. This sequence for white to kill Black is really useful to learn, because this kind of shape occurs all the time. Alright, back here. Let's check the real answer. That is this knight move. Interesting, right? If white makes the diagonal move, Blink makes the sente, and make an eye shape like this. This is very famous alive shape. Even if you push and push, Blink is alive. Even if white attaches here, Black pushes through, and black is alive, like this. White could jump in, and black makes the diagonal move. In general, this shape is sticky like this. This is sente, and it becomes a sticky. And back here again, white could try this push. And in general, it's another result of Seki, like this. However, in this particular situation, white has the A and B stones, so white can attach there. And black cannot live in the corner, but still it becomes a caption race. And it's good for black. In conclusion, let me explain using the plain board to make it easier to understand. White's bottom right corner looks safe and complete, but actually it's not, and still open for invasion. Of course black shouldn't invade in the beginning, because it's not worth it, and there are many bigger moves on the board. But when it's middle game, like the real game I showed you today, this invasion is very severe and powerful for black. Black jumps in the 3-3, and there is no way for white to kill it. White's best response is this extension, and block. And it becomes cool, like the previous version I showed you. And 
And when Black pushes here, if White extends, this knight's move is the incredible move for Black to live in the corner, which I also didn't know. If White makes the diagonal move, Black makes the sente and make the eye. And if White jumps in, Black makes the diagonal move and it's seki like this. And here, even if white extends, black blocks, and leave like this. Sometimes, white's corner shape is like this, and even in this situation, this 3-3 invasion applies the same way. So what we learned today is that white cannot fully protect the corner with this move or this move, which we knew as an efficient way to protect the corner. Still, this diagonal move or this one space jump is a great way to protect the corner. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't play the moves. But the important lesson today is that you need to be aware of the fact that the corner is still open for invasion. So that's it for today. If you have any requests for topics or anything you'd like to see, feel free to leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. I would really appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.